Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about through experimental design that is randomized block design. Under through experimental design, we have many times. So, we are discussing one by one in each video. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about randomized block design. The content is more than enough for 5 marks and uh, this is taken from unit 4 in the subject nursing research and statistics for BSc nursing students. Students. This video is also useful for post basic BSc nursing students as well as MSc nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video. So through experimental research design under through experimental research design we are going to discuss randomized block design as i have already told randomized block design what is this randomized block design so to be considered as an through experimental research design we need three criteria what are those three criteria is first is randomization that is randomly you have to assign subjects to the group next is you should have an experimental group and a control group so control group is very very important in order to compare your results from experimental group and control group and the third one is uh, some manipulation or treatment is needed in order to find out the results so randomization control group and manipulation so these three criteria is very much necessary for any experimental research design so now in this randomized block design here whenever the researcher wants to have homogeneity among selected subjects or groups so homogeneity means what same type of subjects are placed in one group homogeneity means same type okay same homo means same under randomized block design is used when the researcher wishes or desires to bring homogeneity among selected groups so this is a simple method here the variability the variation among the subjects are reduced by selecting the subjects who belong to a particular characteristic subjects or placed in a particular group or particular block. So this is very simplest method here. The variability of the subjects is minimalized because you are selecting the subject based on a specific characteristics. Homogeneous combination of the subjects in particular blocks randomly you are placing the subjects with similar characteristics in a particular group or block for example patients with hypertension are placed in one block patients with hypertension and diabetes are placed in second block patients with renal disease and hypertension are placed in third block so this is the example what i am going to discuss in this video so, for example, a researcher wants to test the efficacy of three different types of antihypertensive drugs. So, the researcher wants to test the types of uh, efficacy of drugs, antihypertensive drugs in reducing hypertension. So, in order to have homogeneity of subjects, the researcher is placing them randomly in different blocks. In block 1, Patients who are having only hypertension that is primary hypertension or alone is placed in block number 1. In the second block diabetic patients with hypertension are placed in the second block. In the third block hypertension patients with renal diseases are placed in third block. For example patients only with hypertension for example 20 patients who are having only hypertension are placed in 
block 1. Next, diabetic patients with hypertension, 20 patients are placed in block 2. And renal patients with hypertension are placed in block 3. So, here, 3 different types of uh, patients we have taken and 3 different types of drugs we have taken and we are going to assess the effect of the 3 different types of drugs on 3 different types of patients. So, here, we are. it is more or less similar to that of factorial design because here also we are having two factors what is factor one so factor one is what types of patients with hypertension okay types of patients with hypertension so patients who are having only primary hypertension patients who are having diabetes and hypertension patients who are having renal disease and hypertension next is factor two is various types of antihypertensive drugs so there are two factors one factor is what types of patients with hypertension other factor is what types of antihypertensive drugs so here only the what is manipulated only one factor is manipulated and the other factor is constant so here the types of patients are constant you are not manipulating you have homogeneously you have assigned the subjects into different blocks and you are not changing the patients and you are not manipulating the patients but what factor is manipulated yes the types of drugs given to these patients are manipulated you are having three different types of drugs okay their effect only you are going to study so here what factor is manipulated yes the types of antihypertensive drugs are manipulated here so here we can see in the um, tabular form types of antihypertensive drugs you have a b c three types of drugs which are grouped under a b c and you have type 1 patients in block 1 patients with primary hypertension block 2 patients with diabetic as well as hypertension then uh, type block 3 renal patients with hypertension so here what they are doing they are uh, giving these different three types of drugs they are testing so a drug is given to group 1 a drug is given to group 2 and a drug is given to group 3 similarly b drug is given to group 1 or block 1 then uh, B drug is given to block 2 patients and B drug is given to block 3 patients. Then C drug is given to block 1 uh, patients and C drug is given to block 2 patients and C drug is given to block 3 patients. So here one group will be acting as a controlled group to other. Okay. Here one group will be acting for example for um, block 1, block 2 and block 3 will be acting as a control group. Similarly for block 2, block 3 and block 1 will be acting as a control group. For block 3, block 1 and block 2 will be acting as a control group. In this way you can compare your results. Okay, so next what are all the statistical tools used if you are going to have so many factors the best statistical analysis what can be used is analysis of variance that is ANOVA analysis of variance a test you have to use for calculation what are all the advantages as I have told earlier it brings homogeneity among subjects there is uh, no much variation it reduces the variability among subjects by bringing homogeneity of the subjects for example in block 1 only patients with hypertension alone you have taken so patients with diabetes and hypertension are placed in block 2 similarly patients with renal disease and hypertension are placed in block 1 so you can tell clearly that in block 1 only patients with hypertension this particular drug is having this effect for patients with diabetes mellitus and hypertension the same drug is going to have some different effect in this way you can compare your results so you can uh, you can control the inherent uh, differences among experimental subjects and experimental conditions what is the disadvantages you need very large sample size in order to do this randomized block design so in order to have randomized block design you need to have large sample size and placing the subjects in different blocks based on the criteria or specific characteristics is very 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 important hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video 
please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card we have posted a separate playlist for bsc nursing research and statistics and also for exclusively for statistics we have again uh, created a specific playlist thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel